This is the lecture for the uh, first part of chapter two in the Doctrine of Right, uh, in part one of the Doctrine of Right. So first of all, uh, in class last time I said, I think this part would have the part about the original contract. No, uh, not only does this part not have that, I don't think the next part has it too. So we'll get to that part in the reading at some point, but not for a long time. This is all about, uh, like it says, how to have something external. So as you'll notice when you're reading through he actually goes into quite a bit of detail both about just what it is to own something uh, external to yourself and uh, what it is to own certain sorts of things. So he starts with property right and then we get into uh, rights in people, uh, mostly in the next section, not this section. But uh, just a few things to keep your eyes open for. Um, number one, he talks a bit about the sort of state of nature or the original position, not a lot, but a little bit, and so um, it's nice to try to keep track of what Kant thinks about that. He talks a lot, well, he talks some about the idea of mixing your labor with something and whether you can come to own something through mixing your labor with it. You'll recall that this is how Locke thinks we can own things in the original position in the state of nature, so uh, you keep your eyes open for what Kant thinks about that. I think this is the first time in the reading that he sort of seriously explains the idea of common ownership of the earth, and that's an important idea, so uh, keep your eyes open for that. I think the reading quiz points this out, but uh, he talks here about colonialism, and so that's going to be a big topic in the latter part of the course, and so uh, pay attention to what he says here when he sort of first discusses it. And uh, there was one more thing, sorry. I should have written down. Um, oh, yeah, and I mean, so this is probably pretty obvious, but since we just finished reading about uh, this, the postulate of practical right and what role that plays, and then also what it means to say that acquisition is provisional, we get some additional uh, discussion of both of these. Um, so look, here's the postulate of practical reason with regard to right, right here. So we get some additional discussion of both of these topics, so it's worth continuing to think about what you think about what Kant thinks about uh, these two topics as we get more details on them in this section.